There's no day like a rainy day to open up my rainy day box. I can't wait to see what I've got in here. Everybody out, Nug Nuts! Oops! Oh, hey! I can put my new photos into my photo album. <laughs> that was a real fun sunny day. Or I could finish knitting this sweater. Oh, look! Bingo! But we need lots and lots of people to play that. Listen, Red, the rain stopped. Bye bye rainy day box. Hi, Slugnut. And hello, sunny day box. My need some fixing kite. My need some new air soccer ball. And my needs to be planted radish seeds. Well, I'm just trying to find the right thing for... Aha! Yes! This is it, Red. We are going to put on a play today in my backyard of the three little pigs. And I even have tickets to give out. I'll meet you downtown at the corner of where my street meets your street. And we'll give out tickets to the fantastic play. Wow! A play at your house at 2 o'clock. Cool. I'll call Ellie and we'll meet you. We'll take two tickets. Certainly. I'll take a ticket. The three pigs. Exciting. Who's starring in it? Um, I never thought of that. I'm not sure. Well, we'll take two tickets. So, all my tickets are given out. Yep, mine too. But Mrs. Mr. Moose asked me who's going to be performing in the play. Didn't I tell you? We are. We are? But today, there's not even enough time to get ready. And, and who's going to do what? Easy peasy. Fudge, you'll be the stage director. And... And I could do all the costumes and the makeup. And maybe I can star in it, too. Okay. Perfect. Now let's go for some lunch. I'm starved. There's no time for lunch, Goldfred. We have to get that play ready. We need actors, costumes, houses for the three pigs, hmm, a big curtain, and everything else. And we don't have much time. Oh, my, we've got to get busy. Where are we going to find so many pigs? Hamlet would make a great pig. He is a pig. Exactly. Actually, I would really rather play the wolf. I'm not sure how well I would play a pig. We've already thought of someone for the part of the wolf. Well, I really don't have time for a play this afternoon. Hamlet! Hamlet! I want you to clean the windows today. I hate cleaning windows. The windows, Hamlet! They're streaky from the rain! Sure, I'll play the pig. What time did you say the rehearsal starts? Let's go get Wendell. He's going to make a great wolf. He is a wolf. Exactly. <laughs> There's going to be food after this play, right? Yup. Lots of delicious food. Actually, I'm starved now. Maybe we should get something to eat. No time for food now, Goldfred. We've got too much to do. The play is supposed to start soon. Come on, everyone. We can have apples at my house. I love apples. This looks great, Fudge. Theaters always have red curtains. The play is supposed to start at 2 o'clock in 10 minutes, and nothing's ready. Oh, no. They're already coming. It's going to take hours. We shouldn't have given out the tickets until the play was ready. We don't even have all our actors yet. What are we going to do? They can be in the play, too. Oh, really? Our audience can be in the play? There's nothing more fun than being in a play. Right, Nug Nuts? Everything is just about ready. Bartholomew and Sebastian brought sticks for the second pig's house and bricks for the third pig's house. Their neighbor, Bessie, brought hay to build the straw house for the first little pig. And then Mr. Bowler helped Ellie do the costumes and makeup. And everyone helped build the houses. So we really are almost ready. So this is going to be fun, but what part am I going to play? Is anyone the fairy godmother yet? That's perfect. I'd make a fabulous fairy godmother. But there isn't a fairy godmother in the Three Little Pigs. Well, in our play of the Three Little Pigs, we can have a fairy godmother, and that fairy godmother is Ellie. Um, yeah, okay, I guess. That apple didn't 
Fill me up. Aha! I'm looking for ice cream, Red. Oh, no! I guess I did eat it all after dinner yesterday. I know what to do, Houdini. Don't I look great as the fairy godmother? Oh, yeah. Are you ready to perform? But what if I forget to wave my wand or something? If you're nervous, you just have to imagine that the audience members all have pink mustaches. Why would I imagine everyone with pink mustaches? Because it'll make you laugh, and then you'll be more relaxed. Okay, now we're ready to start. Where's Gofret? Has anyone seen Gofret? Gofret? <laughs> No go fret, but the play must go on. Places, everyone. And curtain. <laughs> Wherever go fret is, I'm sure he's hurrying to get here to see the play. Snail on the road. Gee, thanks, Nug Nut. Hello, little snail. Piggy, 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 let me in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. I say a huff and a puff and I'll. Huh? And I'll blow your house down. Yeah, and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Run away, first little piggy. <laughs> the play's going well. Where could go Fred be? See you, Nug Nut. Second little pig, let me in. The second little pig? Why, I think he lives over there. Um, uh, nobody's home. Uh, if there's no one home, then who am I talking to? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Ice cream this way. Just what I was looking for. Thanks. Shortcut this way. Hey, go Fred, my favorite customer, Fabuloso. What can I get for you? Maybe Rocky Hills with strawberry chips, Gino. Or Mango Cheesecake Deluxe. Or maybe... Come on, second little pig. Let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Well, uh, then I'll have to huff and puff and blow your house down. Hey, enough with the noise. I'm relaxed over here. <laughs> <laughs> the audience loves it. You were right, Ellie. Adding Bessie to this scene was a great idea. Thanks, but do you remember in the story where the fairy godmother shows up? Uh, no, uh, not exactly. Maybe the praline double chocolate or, oh, I know, vanilla. You want vanilla? I don't know if I have vanilla. Let's see. Ah, yep. Here you go, my friend. Hey, I guess you're gonna be my last customer of the day because I don't see any more customers anywhere. I know where a whole bunch of customers are, Gino. Really? They're at a play about the three little pigs. Excellent. I love pigs. Third little pig. Let me in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Well then, oh puff. And I'll huff, and I'll blow your house in! Go ahead and try. It's made of brick. <laughs> <laughs> Told ya. I better help. <laughs> oh, no, Ellie. He shouldn't sneeze now. It's not in the story that he can knock down the brick house. Yes! <laughs> I think this might be where the pig's fairy godmother comes in. But what do I do? What do I say? Uh, I think the big bad wolf is supposed to eat the pigs now. Um. Go Fred! You're not really that 
hungry, are you, Wendell? I am, and I sometimes wish that I actually had teeth. <laughs> Since everyone is hungry, with this magic wand, I shall make a truck full of ice cream arrive here for everyone. Great! I love ice cream. What are you going to do with all these people in your house? It couldn't be better. We have all the ice cream we need, and I have something in my rainy day box that will be perfect. G5. Under the G5. Yeah! Yeah! 